How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called monotonic array. This is a, a problem that's commonly asked by Facebook right now. The problem description says an array is monotonic if it is either monotone, nope, monotone increasing or monotone decreasing, sorry. An array A is monotone increasing if for all i less than or equal to j, a of i is less than or equal to a of j. An array A is monotone decreasing if for all i less than or equal to j, a of i is greater than or equal to a of j. Return true if and only if the given array A is monotonic. So all that mumbo jumbo is really just saying, we wanna know whether or not this array is uh, increasing or decreasing. And we should return true if either of those things are true. So if the array is strictly increasing, including even, uh, or sorry, equal numbers. So if the array is always increasing or always decreasing, we should return true. So in example one here, we have one, two, two, three. So that's true because it's increasing strictly, aside from the equals, right, the two twos. And for example two, we have six, five, four, four. So again, that's strictly decreasing, aside from the equal signs here, or sorry, the equal, the two fours. I really should stop saying strictly uh, increasing and decreasing. Uh, for example three, one, three, two. So we have more of like a mountain, right? So we go up and then we go down. So that's not strictly increasing or decreasing. So we return false. And one, two, three, four, five, again, it's just kind of straight up, so we return true. One, one, one is also true because we are allowed to have values that are equal to each other. So how do we solve this? So all we really wanna do is find a way to invalidate when A is not monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing. So, what I propose is we have two booleans, one that checks increasing or confirms that the array is increasing and one that confirms that the array is decreasing. So then we can iterate through the array and just try and at every uh, iteration of the loop, just basically try and invalidate either of those things. So we can start the booleans as true and as we walk along the array, if there's anything that invalidates that boolean, we slip, uh, simply set that flag to false. And once we've gone through the entire array, all we have to do is return if either of those things are true, we can return true. So now what are the conditions we have to check? So if something is increasing, how do we know it's not increasing? So that would be the case where a previous element in the array, something with a smaller index, is strictly greater than uh, the next thing in the array, for example. So we can go through comparing two things and in the case where we're checking increasing, if the previous thing is strictly greater than the next thing, it can't be increasing. And we can have the same kind of logic but for decreasing. So if the current thing is smaller than the next thing, yes, if the current thing is smaller than the next thing, then it can't be decreasing. So those are our two checks. We'll have those checks at each iteration of our loop and we'll simply return the or of those flags as our result. So let's see how that works. So we'll have a Boolean called increasing. We'll set that to true because again, we're gonna assume that it's increasing until we found a place where it's not. And we'll have Boolean decreasing equals, sorry, true also. And now we have our loop. So we'll say four int i equals zero. Well, i is less than a dot length. And we'll do minus one, i plus plus. And we're doing minus one again because we don't wanna go out of bounds. We wanna compare the two elements that are next to each other. So now we have to check our two conditions that would invalidate increasing and invalidate decreasing. So if a of i is greater than a of i plus one, that would mean that increasing is false, right? So if the previous thing is greater than the next thing, there's no way this thing is strictly increasing. And similarly, we can check decreasing. So if a of i is less than a of i plus one, there's no way that this array could be strictly decreasing at every index. So decreasing equals false. And now, because we're just checking if one or, or the other is true, right? So strictly increasing or strictly decreasing is true. We could just return these two flags ORed with each other. So if, uh, sorry, return increasing ORed with decreasing. And let's see if this works. Awesome, and it does. So that's how to solve monotonic array in Java. If this was helpful, be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time.